When you're standing in the cage and the announcer is like reading, like, you know, fighting out of Lancaster, Kentucky, you know, uh, representing Reaction MMA, and like, you know, everybody's like fucking cheering for you to say your name. It's like, you know, it feels like you're in a movie or some shit. And then you look across and, you know, he's doing the same thing for the other guy. And then he walks out and then they lock the cage door and the ref looks at you and points at both of you. And then. So when Justin first come in, he was a hard worker. You notice that right from the jump. He was very quiet when he first came in, but he was a hard worker. You're talking about a guy, when I compliment somebody on, on work ethic as the number one thing I say, because it's not common, especially when they have athletic talent. He has athletic talent. He still chooses to show up and work as if he has zero talent. He was starting inside different submissions. Oh, that's a tough spot to be for five minutes. <laughs> Jesus. Going into fight camp is when I start to get like, not necessarily scared, like runaway scared, like you feel the nerves like every night, like the, and the clock keeps ticking. So like once that fight camp starts, I feel like the anticipation or in, in the nervousness like grows. It's like lost a day. Another day closer, another day closer. And up until fight week, that just builds. And you realize that that dude is training to whoop, not just anybody's ass, he's training, he's training to whoop yours, like specifically, he knows my name. I think the thing that draws people to MMA is like, there's, there's no sugar coating it, there's no bullshit, there's like, you know, there's nobody else's fault, like if I don't win. I don't like to make excuses. He took a fight in a very odd, odd time in the sense of I wasn't able to be a part of his entire camp because I was having multiple surgeries. He had plenty of preparation. He trained properly hard, but sometimes there's a mental side to the fight game and not having your coach who you've worked with the majority of the time there, that's, a, that's kind of a big deal. So I'm looking forward to giving him the full camp with my attention and us to be able to go through the process the way it's been developed and worked really well for us. <laughs> Mainly you're going to start on the jab and get to the, the, the right hand later on. Because the right hand, because by itself it's a slide here, you get to that. But really what I want you to understand is go one, two, here, twist, twist, twist. What we're teaching us to do is this, not this. Whatever you do, like, I think guys naturally have this competitive edge, and I think the most competitive thing in the world is fighting. So it's like, you know, people like always want to be like the best at whatever they are, and I think that this is like the pinnacle of that. You got a lot riding on this. You got a lot of people's opinions that count on you. You know, a lot of people that that think, hey man, Justin's a shit, or hey, Justin's a badass. We're about to go here and find out if Justin's a badass. So. <laughs> Let me knock your ass out. It'll look good. Man, whenever he was getting ready for his first fight, buddy, I tell you, God, dog. Yeah, we went at it a couple times. Yeah, matter of fact, I was like, hey, man, let's turn it down a little bit. <laughs> but unfortunately, kind of, that's what you need. Yeah. You know what I mean? You need that. You need that. You know. Plus, you cut. You cut. He's cutting weight. You know what I mean? And then you got. You got to think. You're going against somebody who's training just as hard as you are. To embarrass you in front of your family and your friends and knock you out. So you better be here training all this. Control that because I'm not coming. What is that? Posters? That sparks back in probably fourth grade rec league. I say it's the first time. Yeah. We played on a team together. Did, were you at his uh, first fight? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What was what fight. was that like from a from uh, a friend's perspective? I was so nervous, I don't know, there's no telling how nervous he was, because uh, there's a couple of us, I was just like, 
I'd never been to a fight like that either, and so um, it was very nerve wracking. But since those first fists were thrown, it was go time, baby. It was nice. It was fun. I can't wait to another one. I was just on Facebook and I'm friends with a guy that runs it. And, uh, after their show in November, they still hadn't announced uh, their next date. He posted and said something that was like, looks like the next show is going to be the 17th after, you know, we'd already you know, scheduled other stuff like gym functions and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So the big thing about it is it's like, like I just really enjoy this sport. So I mean, no matter how many times I get to go out there and do it, like the, the fight is, you know, the, the fight in front of the fans, in front of the, like, your friends and family. Like that's like that's like the cherry on top. But like the real like the meat and potatoes of like why like I love this sport is like in here. So just because you know they you know they move a date or, or whatever, something gets pushed back, you know, it does it doesn't really affect me like like that because I love like being here, being like I enjoy coming to class through the week. It's not like I have to make myself do this to like so I can reach this goal of like eventually fighting. Like the fighting is just like, you know, like I said, cherry on top. It's like something extra. It's like, you know, you get the, you get your shine for the work you put in, but fuck it, man. I really, like, the shine's not what I'm, like, in it for, so.